I recently released a video entitled J.P. Holdings Blunders Part 1 in which I refuted Holdings' claim that women were not taken as spoils of war. The point I specifically addressed was Holdings' claim that Numbers 3112 clearly showed that captives could not be considered as spoils of war. I refuted this claim by using the same chapter of Numbers 31, but instead focusing on verses 25 through 35. Holding responded that I made a blunder because the Hebrew word for spoils used in Numbers 31, 25 through 35 is different from the one used in verse 12. He pointed out that it is the Hebrew word malkoa, which he says means captured or taken, and this word is not in any way dehumanizing. Well, Holding is correct on one point, that Hebrew word is actually used. However, his mistake is that he relied solely on that word, ignoring its context. What Holding obviously doesn't understand is that we gain the meaning of words through their association with surrounding words. We look at the other words used alongside to help us understand their intent. Any competent apologist would surely know this, but J.P. Holding doesn't. The word that Holding failed to notice when he did his shoddy research was the Hebrew word bazaz that is used in Numbers 31, 32 through 35. Now the plunder, Malkoa, remaining of the spoil, baz, that the army took, bazaz, was 675,000 sheep. 72,000 cattle, 61,000 donkeys, and 32,000 persons in all women who had not known man by lying with him. Now, what does bazaz mean? Simply put, it means to spoil or plunder, which is why the most accurate translations of the Bible use it that way. Of interest is that the same word is also used in the original passage I provided to Holding. Deuteronomy 20.14 says, But the women and the little ones, the livestock, and everything else in the city, all its spoil, you shall take as plunder, bazaars, for yourselves. And you shall enjoy the spoil of your enemies, which the Lord your God has given you. Another use can be found in Joshua 11:14, which says, And all the spoil of these cities and the livestock the people of Israel took for their plunder, bazaars, but every person they struck with the edge of the sword until they had destroyed them, and they did not leave any who breathed. Now Holding wants you to think that there's nothing special about bazaars. These women were simply taken. However, these women were not only taken, but divided up among the people. If that isn't a spoil, I don't know what is. By this latest blunder, we should no longer consider Holding to just be ignorant. He has now elevated himself to incompetent. This isn't the last of the series on J.P. Holding's blunders. There will be more to come, including his biggest blunder. Take care and let me know what you think.